Now at 11, we're hearing from a man who was with the victims of a deadly boat crash near Port Miami just moments before the vessel hit the Fisher Island Ferry. He tells us he's in shock because he almost got on that boat this past weekend. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Trina Robinson. And I'm Jawan Strader. One man was killed. The other is still in the hospital tonight. And that's where we find NBC6's Kim Wen. She is live with reaction. Kim. Yeah, that's right. Like you guys mentioned, we spoke to that man who was with the victim just hours before this crash happened. He said that they had been partying together, having fun, hanging out for several hours that night and said that he could have easily been on that boat. It's sad. It's sad. And, you know, at least we got to capture that one moment, that one second of, of all of us having a good time. Russell Ramirez had no idea that when he took this picture Saturday night, it would be the last memory he had of 27 year old Christian Fernandez. I, I was just with them. Ramirez met Fernandez and 29 year old Angel Dominguez during a yacht party Saturday night. I ran into Chris and Angel uh, just by coincidence. <laughs> I mean, we were all having a good time, and, and the vibe was good. A great vibe that turned tragic a few hours later, just before 4 a.m., after the yacht party was over. Investigators say Christian and Angel were on this 32-foot boat when it crashed into the Fisher Island Ferry near Port Miami. When rescuers got there, they found Angel alive, but no Christian. Dive teams combed the waters and found Christian's body minutes later. I could have easily been with, you know, with them on that boat if I would have decided uh, to go with them. Ramirez says he got the bad news later that morning, but didn't believe it. I thought it was a mistake because I had just posted a picture of us like hanging out. And then uh, they sent me a text message saying that somebody on the boat had passed away. He says he feels lucky that his life was spared. You just got to take in every moment, every uh, every second. We're here one minute and gone the next. The accident shut down Port Miami. Many passengers spent hours waiting to either disembark or board their cruise ships. And Angel is still recovering tonight here at JMH. We spoke with his family earlier this evening. They tell us that he and Chris had been friends for several years and says that this news is devastating to both families. For now, we are live in Miami. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.